In this tutorial, you are going to learn the easiest way to solve this kind of math Olympiad equation. It's just very simple. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comment. We can only serve you best if you know about it. Now, let's do it together. This is what we are giving to find the value of x. So quickly, we begin with solution, okay? Now, what do you do? Just quickly, quickly remember this rule of exponent that says a to the power of m raised to power n is the same as a to the power, multiply the power, gives you mn. It's also the same as a to the power of n to the power of m. You can switch the power, okay? So these three are the same. Now let's see how that helps us to solve. So we write this, we have 7 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of 2x plus this is equal to 14. Now what do you do again? This is 7 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of x raised to power of 2. Multiply this, it gives you 2x according to this rule. So you've not changed anything. Plus 7 to the power of x raised to power 3 is 14. Now, what do you do again? Observe that this is now common. So you can choose to use another variable to replace it for easy solving. So choose any variable we can say, let y be equal to 7 to the power of x. Did you see that? Now, what do you do now? Just know that anywhere you see this, replace with y. So we're going to have y plus, this will give us y squared, plus y cubed is equal to 14. Observe carefully, this has led to a cubic equation because the highest power of y is 3. So it's cubic, meaning we are going to have three values of y. Okay? Now, what do you do? Rearrange it to make it look beautiful. The highest one comes, followed by this, followed by this y is equal to 14. At this point, there are a lot of methods you can use to solve this but I'm going to teach you the easiest way. Now, what do you do? Observe that this is the same number cubed, and when it is squared and left as it is, added together gives you 14. Now, you're going to ask yourself a question. What number can we have to be placed in such manner to be equal to 14? Now, think. To help to shorten it for you, let's look at this number two, okay? Let's look at two. If we raise 2 to the power of 3 and raise 2 to the power of 2 and also left 2 as it is, let's see if it gives us 14. 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 into 3 times and that gives us 8. Okay? And this is 2 multiplied 2 times and it gives us 4. And this is just 2. So let's add it together. If you add it, it gives you 12 plus this gives you 14. So what did you think? You, you see that 14 can be replaced with this. And you observe that they are all base 2. Did you see? These are numbers. They are 2, okay? Just like what you have here as y. So in that case, we can go with 2. We have gotten something. So what do we do? This is giving us y cubed plus y squared plus y is equal to 14 as we have seen, is the same as this. So we have 2 plus 2 cubed plus 2, 2 squared and 2 cubed. We have not changed anything. Now, to continue with this, we are going to have, from this point, what do we do? We are going to move all this to the left side, okay? And notice that they are all positive. So we are subtracting each of them from the both sides. So this implies y cubed okay now this one you subtract so it will be negative two cubed are you seeing what we're doing then bring this back so you have plus y squared this one is positive you see it will be negative now so we have negative two cubed did you see that then plus this one is y okay so if you move it again you see for the one with y it will be negative 2. I hope you see that. Those ones with cubed are together. The ones squared are together. And this one with power of 1, this one has power of 1. They are together. Everything is equal to 0. Now, what do you do? Now, this gives us y cubed minus 2 cubed, let's bracket, plus y squared minus 2 squared, okay? Then 
plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, what did you observe? This is the difference of two cubes. And what does the formula say? It says that for every a cubed minus b cubed, it is a minus b, a squared plus a b plus b squared. This is going to guide us, okay? Then when you look at the second one, this is difference of two squares. And for every a squared minus b squared, it is a plus b and a minus b. Interesting. So we are going to apply this formula to solve this. So for this, we are going to now have y cubed minus 2 will give us y minus 2, okay, into our y is a. So we have y squared plus this will give us y times 2 gives us 2y. I hope you are seeing what we are doing. Plus this is our b. So we have 2 raised to the power of 2, okay? Now that is for this. So let's simplify this using the second formula. So we have plus for this, obeying the difference of two squares, you have y plus 2, okay, and y minus 2. Did you see that? Then plus this, y minus 2, and everything is equal to 0. Interesting. Now, what did you observe again? You observe that y minus 2 is common in each of these terms. So we're going to factor it out. So factor y minus 2 out, okay? Now factor it out, open a bracket. When you use this to divide the first, you'll be left with y squared plus 2y plus 2 squared is 2 times 2, giving us 4. I hope you are seeing what we're doing, okay? Now use y minus 2 to divide these two, okay? You'll be left with plus y plus 2. Did you see it? Okay, use it to divide this. It gives you 1. So you have 1. And everything is equal to 0. Interesting. So let's take it to this part to have y minus 2 into y squared. Okay. Add this and this. 2y plus y gives us 3y. Did you see that? Then 4 plus 2 plus 1 gives us 7. So we have plus 7. Okay. And everything is equal to 0. Now, what did you observe? We have formed this. And remember, for every a b equal to 0, it means either a is 0 or b is 0. So apply it here. It implies that y minus 2 is equal to 0 or that y squared plus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0. Now, solve this. You add 2 to both sides so that you have y is equal to 2. Okay, we've gotten one value of y. Now, to solve this, this is quadratic. What do you do? You are going to now use the formula, which says that y is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. For this, your a is the coefficient of y squared, and the coefficient here is 1. So a is 1. Your b is coefficient of y, which is 3, and your c is the constant, which is 7. Plug this into the formula. Y will give us negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared minus 4. Our A is 1 and our C is 7. All divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Simplify this further. We are going to now have Y to be equal to negative 3 plus or minus 3 squared is 3 times 3 giving us 9. So we have 9. When you multiply this, it gives you negative 28. Did you see that? All divided by this will give us 2. If you simplify again, you have y is negative 3 plus or minus. If you subtract this, it gives you negative 19 divided by 2. Now you observe that the nature of the root is complex root. So because it's complex, we don't need this value. So we are rejecting it, okay? So we reject this value of y. And in that case, you're only accepting y as 2 because it is real. I hope this is clear. Okay, having gotten this, so we are concluding that our y is 2. Remember, we are not asked to find the value of y. The question is x, but we have to recall that 
we said that 7 to the power of x is equal to y. So what do you do? We are going to replace our y with 2. So we are going to now have 7 to the power of x is equal to our y is 2. Okay, so what do you do again? You are going to take the log of both sides so that you can find the value of x. So we have log of 7 to the power of x is equal to log of 2. Now remember this rule of log. For every log of a to the power of x, it is always the x, the power multiplies the log. Did you see this? So this is going to help us to solve this. And to do that, we are going to have, this will now multiply, okay? So we are going to have x log 7 is equal to log of 2. Did you see that? Now, what do we do again? To get x, we divide both sides by log of 7. Divide this by log of 7. Now, this cancels this. So we're going to have x is equal to log of 2 divided by log of 7. But we can't leave it this way. Let's make it beautiful. Just remember that each time you have log of A divided by log of B, it is the same as log of A, then this B becomes the base. So simplifying this, we are going to have X is equal to log of 2, then this 7 becomes the base. And you observe that these two numbers are prime. So this is the lowest form of this value. So this becomes the value of x. Now we're going to do a check to know if this value, when you substitute it to the left side, will it be equal to 14. To do that, we are going to have a check. So this gives us 7, okay? Our x, you see, is this. So we have 7 to the power of log of 2 base 7 plus 7 to the power of 2, 2x is 2 of log of 2 base 7, then plus 7 to the power of 3, log of 2 base 7. Let's see if it gives us 14. Now, just note it that there's this rule in log that says, for each time you have a to the power of log of b base a, it is always equal to this b, provided the base of the log and the general base are the same. So your answer will be b. Did you see? So we're going to apply this rule here. But you have to be careful because you observe that in this, there is 2 before the log. So I will teach you what to do there. So from here, we're going to have, this is 7 to the power of log of 2 base 7. Plus this number, which is the coefficient, is always raised to the power of the next number. Did you see that? So we are going to now have 7 to the power of log of 2 to the power of 2 base 7. Then plus, do same here, raise it to this number. So we have 7 to the power of log of 2 to the power of 3 base 7. You see? Now, this and this are the same, we have B. So you observe this and this are the same, we're going to have 2 here. Then plus, this and this are the same, we're going to have 2 raised to the power of 2. Then plus, this and this are the same, we're going to have 2 raised to the power of 3, which was what we stated earlier. So you observe that this has given us 2, this will give us 4, and this will give us 8. And when you add this together, it gives us 14 which is what you have at the right side. So it means that the value of x as this is correct. And I hope you really learned a lot. Don't forget to share for more people to learn with you. And if this helps you, let's know how much. Subscribe for more tips. Give this a thumbs up and I'll see you in our next class. Bye-bye.